Hey guy how are you all beautiful people are doing? Hope all of you are doing fine and yes this is the next CAN of creating Naruto comics in Naruto world. I, Akaban was graduated from the University of Arts and Design in the 21st century then suddenly traversed into the Naruto's world, by bringing my knowledge of arts and my love of Naruto comic I decided to recreate Naruto comic here. So let's start without any delay. In the eyes of outsiders, Akaban is already very powerful, reaching this level at the age of 15, which is unprecedented. However, at this moment, he deeply hates that he is not strong enough. However, if he rushed to draw 20 chapters today, he should be able to rush out the story of Orochimaru reanimating the four Hokages, and then he can redeem the sage body of Hashirama. Having the sage body and semi-sage body are not at the same level. As long as he can redeem Hashirama sage body, he can extract more power of six paths by himself which will stimulate his Rinnegan to continue to grow. Although it is impossible to evolve further, it is no problem to obtain special abilities like Limbo, Hell. His current Rinnegan eye is only a castrated version and is far less powerful than Madara's pair. Sakumo was hit a bit. The more indifferent people seem, the more they actually care about something. Because of this, in the original plot, he would choose death to fight those public opinions. However, Akaban seemed to have no position to admonish as he is also thinking deeply, and they didn't notice Hatake Sagaki who was hiding in the dark. He thought about it and didn't catch up, letting Sakumo leave with distraction. The direction Sakumo took was probably where he had trained before. Akaban still has things to do. He needs to update 20 chapters fast. The number is not large, but it is definitely not small. Even if four or five shadow clones work together, it will take a long time to complete, and the plot has to be sorted out smoothly so he has to assign tasks. Akaban went back to the tent, sat down cross-legged while recovering chakra, while sorting out the plot to be drawn. It starts with the exposure of the identity of Abito and ends after the resurrection of the four Hokages. There are a lot of plots in the middle. For example, the past of Abito, the resurrection of Ten Tails, the secret of Kamue and so on. In addition, there is a small plot that the Hyuga clan may be more concerned about the death of Neji. In fact, Akaban himself likes the role of Neji very much. However, it is a bit troublesome for him to change the ending of Neji, which means that he has to add some original plots. It's a pity that Naruto hadn't mastered the power of the six paths in these chapters, otherwise, he can use six paths senjutsu to save Neji. Forget it. I'm too tired to think about the plot. Just like in the past, the update could have been completed in a shorter time but in order to change those plots to his own, it took him a full half a day. This is just a short paragraph. If he wants to change it, that's going to be a long story. In the past, Akaban still had a leisure time to change the plot, but now it is a special practice in a special period. Using the original plot, his speed can be much faster. After a long time, Akaban's chakra recovered a lot, and immediately separated the two shadow clones and let them start work first. Their task is to draw the section of Abito. Afterwards, Akaban stuffed a few food pills to continue to restore his chakra. The life return was matched with the semi-sage body quality. His chakra recovery speed was quite fast, and it did not take long to recover to a certain amount. As a result, the two shadows were pulled out to work. The shadow clones are very efficient. They know the priorities. Now is not the time to make trouble. It is more important to complete the task first and obtain the sage body as soon as possible. This is not a high level of consciousness. 
As a result, Akaban's strength can be increased a lot by getting the Sage Body. Secondly, the Sage Body comes with a strong recovery effect, a large number of chakras, and can receive an affinity for wood style. By then, he will learn to use wooden clones, and the burdens on these shadow clones will also be greatly reduced. What is the way to reduce your workload? Of course, it is to find more colleagues and divide the work tasks. The more the number, the lower the workload. Although the shadow clones that will be separated next time are not the same as them. Facts have proved that if you have a goal, you will be more motivated. Usually, Akaban doesn't even want to get four shadow clones, but now he thinks that the sage body is about to be redeemed, so he wants to divide it into five or six clones immediately. Unfortunately, his chakra is insufficient. It wasn't until late in the afternoon that Akaban finally completed the update task. The efficiency of the shadow clone is quite high. In addition to completing the Naruto update, he also took the time to complete part of the One Piece update. The number is not too much but only 5 chapters, but at any rate, it is also updated, more or less can bring some points into the account. The other side. Meizuzu Hyuga, Yuan Achiha and others brought another group of ninjas to the front. These ninjas are very strong, but compared to Madara, they are obviously not enough. Even if Achiha Yuan awakened his main Jekyo Sharingan, his pupil power and Madara were not of the same order of magnitude, and they would not help much in the battle. Their existence can only deal with White Zetsu. White Zetsu is very weak, especially some of the inferior products that Madara later produced, which can basically only be used for detection and cannon fodder. However, the strength of those White Zetsu summoned initially was different. They have good combat power, especially after being integrated into Hashirama cells. But now the ninjas are united and Madara hasn't got too many tailed beasts, it is extremely difficult to split more white Zetsu, so Akaban is not worried about this. As always, the errands are thrown to Anbu after the drawing let him send them. In order to get there as soon as possible, he specially asked the Anbu ninja of the Inuzuka clan. The Inuzuka family often walks their dogs, and they are very fast and have strong endurance. In addition, they can also sit on their dogs. This group of people is comparable to SF Express in his world. Even if it's a takeaway, the dog may not help but do something. At this time, Meizuzu Hyuga didn't know that the only prominent person of the Hyuga clan in the comics who had a better profile, Neji Hyuga, was leaving tomorrow. Right now, he was quite happy. Neji Hyuga performed well in the fourth ninja war, and he felt that he could shine more. However, reality often backfires. The comics arrived at the camp the next day, and he was impatient to borrow books to read. So when Meizuzu Hyuga saw Neji's death, his whole heart was broken. Just die like this. It is said that a genius who has met once in a few hundred years, this way of death is just making me laugh. Meizuzu Hyuga was depressed. How badly it was before, how miserable Hyuga is now, especially if Neji is dying, he will simply hit the Hyuga clan's current system. The contradiction between the division of the family and the clan was mentioned vaguely. Fortunately, the entire ninja world was in chaos and turmoil at this time and no tribe would choose this time to cause trouble. After all, anyone who has a bit of a brain knows that at this time, Konoha feels that it needs to help the main house stabilize the situation, rather than compromise with them. For Hyuga, the contradiction of family separation mentioned in the comic is not a problem. He originally hoped to achieve the integration of clan and division, rather than continuing the current system. There are many people discussing the death of Hyuga Neji, 
but only Meizuzu Hyuga is really concerned about him, so the Hyuga loser theory that Neji Hyuga worried about did not appear. Because most people didn't care at all, the ability of the Hyuga clan in investigation is well known to everyone in the ninja world, how could it be guided by comics? Of course. It is true that the Hyuga clan does not have geniuses above the five kages. Seeing it, Achiha Yuan almost laughed out loud. The Hyuga has been trying to compare with them, but now no one cares. On the contrary, it is Achiha, whose influence by Madara Achiha has received a lot of attention recently, but this is not a good thing. They are ninjas, and they are paid too much attention, which means that on the battlefield they may be targeted. In addition, the remarks of the second Hokage about the Achaiha clan also caused a wide range of discussions. Not only Konoha but also many ninjas from other villages are discussing this matter because a clan who has a Keki Genkai being targeted is not only happening in Konoha. For example, take Tori clan and Yuki clan of Hidden Mist Village, having their clan exterminated is a later thing, but in fact, there are already some very obscure opponent segments. It is not that the village does not know that they are important, on the contrary, they are too important and too strong. So Senju Tobirama's method is really useful. If he and Achaiha Kigami are alive, let Kigami increase its influence and slowly eliminate the Madara faction within Achaiha, perhaps after two or three generations. Achaiha will be able to achieve a smooth transition without going through blood and fire. It's a pity that he and Achaiha Kigami both died. No one could think of the outcome of the war, and Achaiha Yuan himself could tolerate but lacked decisiveness. If Akaban hadn't appeared, he couldn't be determined to implement changes. In fact, the turmoil that night directly reduced Achaiha's strength by half. Of course, afterwards, Achaiha Yuan and a bunch of tribes made breakthroughs, which no one expected. 20 chapters a day, a group of ninjas read very happily, but when they thought that they were facing the same threat from Madara as those in the comics, everyone instantly became unhappy. Even the five Kages are all defeated by Madara without effort, what can ordinary ninjas like them do? There are pros and cons and in the face of huge pressure, everyone does not care about past hatred disputes, temporarily puts aside the disputes and exchanges some ninjutsu and physical skills with each other. Although they will not be as dedicated as the third rakage when teaching Sakumo, the exchange is realized, which can be regarded as the first step in mutual relaxation. But Akaban doesn't pay attention to these. When he woke up, the first thing he did was to look at his redemption list the four Hokage reappeared and Senju Hashirama's sage body should appear on the list. Akaban was full of expectations. After scrolling the list, he immediately looked at the redemption options for starting to search for the sage body. Within a few seconds, he found the sage body and wood style ninjutsu from Senju Hashirama. Wood-style ninjutsu's redemption has been available before, but Akaban feels that there must be a pit in it. Its price is not too high and it is quite cost-effective, but the problem is that it has to rely on the sage human body to exert its strongest advantage, so it has not been exchanged before. The price of the sage body is very high. More than 50,000. This is the case when Akaban already possesses the physique of the Uzumaki family, if it weren't for this, the price of the immortal body would definitely be higher. No need to hesitate. 50,000 points are simply drizzling for now, and the ninja army can give more than this number every day, and there is no need for pain in this regard. Ding. Hashirama Sage Body Redeem. In the next second. That familiar feeling emerged, Akaban could feel the changes in his body, and wisps of power were slowly born and integrated into his body. It is somewhat similar to the physique of the Uzumaki family, 
but it is slightly different, stronger and more comprehensive. Not only vitality and chakras but also physical attributes have been directly improved by 10 points. Among other things, the increase of physical attributes alone are worth the fare now it takes more than 10,000 points to redeem 10 physical points. But unfortunately, this kind of opportunity is not common. So far, it has only appeared when the Sage Body series and the Sharing Gan series are exchanged for attribute bonuses. This shows that the blood descendants of the Sage of Six Paths are really open. But this is only the first step. After completing the exchange and transformation and integration of the Sage Body, Akaban began to extract the power of six paths based on the knowledge obtained after the last exchange for the Rinnegan. Extract special chakras from the Sage Body and the Sharingan, and then slowly merge the two. Half an hour later, the power of six paths was successfully extracted. At the same time, his Rinnegan emerged automatically, and the power of six paths continued to flow to Rinnegan, but within a short time, he completed his eye upgrade. Akaban closed his eyes and quietly realized his Rinnegan. Everyone's Rinnegan ability is different. For example, Madara's Rinnegan ability is the Limbo, Border Jail. Even though Nagato can use his eyes, he cannot use the Limbo border jail. Because it is unique to Madara, Sajuk and Kaguya's Rinnegan are the same. Akaban had only a half-immortal body physique before, forcibly extracting the six powers, although successfully extracted and activated, no special ability appeared. But now, he felt that he could see the spiritual world, no, not the spiritual world to be precise but the Genjutsu world that belonged to him. The difference is that under the power of the Rinnegan, the Genjutsu world reproduces everyone around it. But, is this useful? Akaban frowned slightly, wondering how to experiment with his own abilities. This seemed to be an improved version of his own transformation into reality. Experimenting with damage effects did not seem very good. He thought for a moment. Following the movement of his mind, he tried to realize Sakumo in the world of Genjutsu with the ability of his main Jekyo Sharingan and turn it into reality. Generally no different. Moreover, the Sakumo inside his Genjutsu possessed all the abilities of the real Sakumo, be he possessed a personal consciousness controlled by Akaban, just like another Sakumo controlled by Akaban. That means it's not just an illusion actualization. This is Yin Yang Escape, another level of creation, similar to Madara's Limbo clone, but it shouldn't have the point of directly creating complete life. Akabar experimented further. Sure enough, other people couldn't see Sakumo because, like the clone of Madara's Limbo clone, its body was in the Genjutsu space instead of this world. Of course. Akaban can let others see him if needed. Next, is another experiment. Sakumo went along the road to find the realistic Sakumo. Under Akaban's perception, he quickly found Sakumo. Then, he cut off part of his forehead bangs. In the next second, a handful of bangs on the forehead of Sakumo, in reality, broke suddenly, and the hair that could have been said to be quite beautiful had slight flaws. Ha! Huh. Sakumo frowned slightly, looked around, then stared at the distance in front of him. He had a weird feeling. There seemed to be, a person standing in front of him. This feeling was a bit like a ghost as if he was surrounded by evil. On my OG. He has heard some stories and legends that there is a kind of on my OG who masters this kind of strange spell. But those are just rumors, and no one has actually seen on my OG. So he thought of another possibility. Kyorama Akaban's Genjutsu. 
That means as long as I manipulate him to self-mutilate, the injury can be actually reported back. A.K.A. and become thoughtful. This is not the same as the realization ability of the Genjutsu of the Kyorama clan and his main Jekyo Sharingan. The Genjutsu of the Kyorama clan, to put it bluntly, only uses equal power to launch a mental attack. If the mental power is not as good as the opponent, the damage cannot be realized, and it may even be backlashed. The realization of his main Jekyo Sharingan can turn the Genjutsu into reality, restrain the enemy, attack and so on. But this. He can directly produce Genjutsu clones related to the enemy, and Akaban can execute it if he simply commands, and if the Genjutsu body is injured, he can transfer it to the real body. So, can the injuries of the real body be transformed into the Genjutsu body? Akaban's Sharingan can use transfiguration to become an illusion himself, and then realize himself to complete the injury transfer. But he was not sure about the Rinnegan, and he needed to try further just in time. Sakumo came up. It was you just now, right? Sakumo searched all the way, Akaban was the most suspicious of the people he could think of. Sorry. I tried my new ability. Akaban smiled and apologized decisively. If you want to try, don't take my hair. Forget it, what is this ability? Sakumo originally wanted to complain about his hair. After all, he valued his hair quite a bit, but after thinking about it carefully, how could he care about his hair now? I can create your Genjutsu clone. And if I order the Genjutsu clone to hurt itself, the injury it received can be fed back to the real body. So now I want to try the reverse feedback of the real body. Akaban used a Genjutsu technique to make Sakumo ignore his eyes. Under the spiritual power gap, it was simple. Then he used his ability to show the Genjutsu Sakumo, let Sakumo see it, and Sakumo stared at it twice then he couldn't help but be surprised. This technique is too strong. Without thinking about it, Sakumo took out a kunai and swiped it on his hand. In the next second, the wound on his hand disappeared, and the hand of the Genjutsu Sakumo suffered twice as much damage. It's work. But this means that there is an upper limit on the damage that can be transferred, and it cannot be transferred indefinitely. If the damage exceeds the upper limit, the remaining part must be borne by yourself. Although it's a pity, it's normal, and no technique is perfect. Besides, this is not a shortcoming at all, it can only be said that it is not as strong as Akaban thought, and cannot be the same as Izanagi. Well, it seems he is greedy. After all, this thing is not for his own use. Akaban tried it and found that his Genjutsu body was significantly stronger. This was probably due to the augmentation effect of the Sharingan, while the Genjutsu body of others did not have such strong endurance and combat ability. Be content. Akaban warned himself that compared to nothing before, at least it is much stronger now, and he can pull out Madara's Genjutsu body. Of course. It is foreseeable that Madara who has a Rinnegan, his resistance to this technique will inevitably be stronger, and Akaban cannot cause injuries as easily as against Sakumo. Besides, he just broke Sakumo's small bangs, which is not considered an injury at all so the specific effect still needs to be studied in detail. Sakumo played with himself for a while. He found this Genjutsu body very interesting, almost exactly the same as himself, and even the changes in the nature of ninjutsu and chakra were kept in sync, so he doesn't know if cracking this clone by cracking a Genjutsu will work. Sakumo is not a ninja that specializes in Genjutsu, and he is not as good as his son, so he can only think about it, it is impossible to implement it. It was Akaban that surprised him most. 
There is no doubt that Akaban has become stronger again. At this time, he can clearly feel the deterrence from Akaban's body on one hand, it is due to the exchange of the sage body, which has not fully adapted to the physical changes, on the other hand, he has received five points for his physical attributes. But just like before, every time he adds a part, he will run out of control for a short while, making him unable to add more attributes points in one breath. Akaban tried to control it. After a while, the deterrence that Sakumo felt gradually disappeared. With his mental attributes much higher, even if his physical strength are strengthened, it is not difficult to control like last time. At this time, Akaban doesn't even need to go out, as long as he uses his Rinnegan to mirror the reality to his Genjutsu world he can use his Genjutsu body to detect their position. Although not every move can be monitored, it is also quite useful. Such as Kiyo and Ibizo. The two were hiding in a tent and didn't know what they were talking about. In addition, with his Genjutsu clone that cannot be seen or sensed, and in a sense, it can be used as a monitor tool. Thinking about it this way, the Rinnegan is indeed op. Akaban secretly liked it. Woodstyle has not been redeemed for the time being. Sakumo is on the side at the moment, and there is no time to use it. On the other hand, he has to find a reasonable excuse for why he can use Woodstyle Jutsu. But finding an excuse for this is not hard to find. With the Hashirama cell, he can solve these problems. However, it is not the right time now, and he has to postpone it for a while. Sakumo realized that Akaban had become stronger again, he couldn't sit still, and immediately went out to exercise himself. He didn't know where to continue his efforts before, but now Sakumo's direction is clear. Exercise physical skills to further strengthen the Chidori, so that it can be more perfectly integrated into other moves such as the three sword style, which is very difficult, but if it can be completed, his offensive ability can be greatly improved. As for the body, he doesn't need to rush about it, as long as his speed is fast and the body can withstand high speed movement. He can overcome his weakness. After Sakumo left, Akaban left five shadow clones and asked them to work hard while he went out to patrol the camp, and by the way, he would eat something good to make up for his deficit. In fact, with the effect of the sage body, he doesn't need to eat more. The perverted resilience alone is enough to restore the chakra. No matter how bad it is, there are also food pills. It is purely an excuse to replenish the body deficit. He just wants to eat just wants to come out and play, that's all. Akaban doesn't have many hobbies, but eating hot pot is one of them. The spontaneous hot pot of Konoha ninjas tastes quite good. The last time he ate it, he was very impressed, so he planned to find someone from the Akamichi clan. All clan in Konoha, this group of foodies has the deepest research on a hot pot. Ha 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 tilde eat, don't be polite to me. A Kamichi Chaha laughed as he patted Akaban on the shoulder. On the side, Akaban who came to eat was already enjoying the hot and spicy tofu as he exhaled air, and after taking a bite for several seconds, he couldn't relieve his breath. This group of foodies, how come they have found substitutes for peppers? Akaban can also eat spicy food in his previous life. However, the body of this life is obviously not good, has not been trained, and the first time he eats it is too spicy. Of course. The people of the Akamichi clan also feel it is too hot, but for this group of foodies, this was nothing. Although it's spicy, they still keep eating. Before the change, Akaban couldn't fight them at all, so he could only admit it in front of their belly, but now. Life is back. 
How is it? Isn't it cool? This is the recipe I bought from an old man in Land of Rivers. The chili you told me should be comparable, but you see it doesn't sound so spicy. A kimichi cowha smiled happily as he bragged about it. I. Akaban wanted to say that he could eat spicy food before, but he thought about it again. He used to have his body bones as weak as a chicken. He was afraid that eating this hot pot would lead to collapse, so he didn't dare to brag about it. So he could only acknowledge it. After a while, Akaban was full and couldn't help but sigh in pleasure. Having two or three meals, you can't say that you don't have any at all, and his relationship with the Akimichi clan is pretty good. As long as he can befriend them, this clan is absolutely loyal. Therefore, he intends to share the secret of life return to Akamichi Chaha. No clan is more suitable for it than them. Not only eating, but the most important thing is to use ideas such as using limbs, hair and other functions of the body as a weapon. The Akimichi clan's multi-size jutsu can make oneself a giant, and the result of giantification is that the body cannot be as flexible as ordinary people. But after learning the technique of life return, these kinds of huge side effects can be reduced to a certain extent. However, Life returns are not something that everyone can learn. It has a big threshold, and Akaban didn't intend that they could learn all of them. After passing on the secret, it was their own business whether they could do it or not. Akimichi Chahar is very grateful. Knowing that Akaban had mastered this magical skill, he pulled Akaban to eat and drink more without any worries. After eating for a while, he said with emotion, Akaban, sometimes I really doubt whether you have experienced the things that year. Oh, what are you talking about? Akaban asked as he ate, that he even had a little smoke in his throat with a face of confusion, but the more he ate, the more refreshed he felt. It's been a long time since he had spicy food. It's about a chai ha kigami, many people didn't understand back then including many people who supported Tobirama Sensei, they did not understand why Sensei wanted him to be his disciple, even that guy Danza. Akimichi Chaha whispered halfway through and looked around vigilantly. Danza has many eyes and ears, and here is the Ninja Alliance camp. There are many people with mixed eyes. It is not a good thing for Konoha to let outsiders know about Konoha. There is no one else around. Although Danza is his own teacher, but in some respects, his teacher does have problems, Akaban will not wash the ground for him, even if the Anbu is there, it doesn't matter, he is innocent. Chaha looked around again and then whispered, you mentioned in the comics that Danza was fighting with Hyruzen over the Hokage position. You should know some things at the beginning. In fact, Tobirama Sensei didn't think Danza could do it at first. Of course, Hyruzen's methods and talents are all learned from Tobirama Sensei. Tobirama Sensei's ability to understand people is naturally very high. Akaban nodded. Well, Hyruzen becoming the third Hokage is actually just the beginning. People accept the rule that Hokage's power is passed from Senju to foreigners. So the next Hokage should be Kigami if it is done well. Chaha's voice is very low, for fear of being heard. Of course, Senju Tobirama didn't say these words, but Akimichi Chaha followed Tobirama for many years, seemingly reticent, but in fact, he observed secretly, seeing everything with his eyes. As for the good job criterion, it is probably related to Achaiha Kigami. As long as Achai Ha Kigami can solve Achai Ha's problems and let the villagers feel the changes in the family and village, after Kigami took over Achai Ha, everyone will naturally recognize his talents. The guard department is a big pit, but from a certain angle, it is also a huge stage. 
Once Uchiha's Kigami becomes the fourth Hokage, Uchiha's moderates will be completely committed, and it is impossible to rebel. As for the fifth Hokage, this is not a problem that Senju Tobirama can think of. The plan was perfect, but it was a pity that Uchiha Kigami's life was thinner than paper, and he died in the first ninja war. With his passing away, these things have truly become conjectures that will never come true. After Akaban heard this, he couldn't help but sigh for his teacher. Even according to the original plan, the position for the fourth Hokage still has nothing to do with Danza. He is destined to be the root of the Konoha, and it is impossible to walk upright on the light. Senju Tobirama looked at his disciples too thoroughly. I'm not smart. I don't have the ability to be a hawkage, but after so many years as a bystander, I can understand these things. A lot of things may not even be known to Danza. But you can say it so clearly in your comics, it's like having experienced it yourself. Akimichi Chaha said admiringly and patted Akaban on the shoulder, and then raised the bowl in his hand. There is no wine in it, but there is a small bowl of soup which looks like lava, it's scary. Akaban did not dare to drink it. Drinking spicy hot pot soup repeatedly is a hobby of the devil, and he can't bear it. In fact, Danza did not understand. Before, he was caught in a daze and felt that he really had a chance at that time. As long as he stood up, he could become hawkage, but he realized that he was too young a while ago. And the thing is, he is not hawkage material. But Senju Tobirama has long understood who is suitable for what. So Danza has nothing to be unwilling now. At least his disciple, even if he can't be regarded as hawkage, is one of the best in the world. This is only Akaban, besides him, Sakumo also has quite strong strength, has performed equally well in wars and has the same potential as Hokage. With such two disciples, what else can you expect? Recently, Kiyo and Ibizo have done nothing more, and the rest of Shinobi is slowly accumulating strength. Everyone is in awe and fear of Madara, but not to the point of extreme fear. Although they know that he is strong, but there is always a way to overcome it. Of course. This is the thinking of the Alliance forces, and Madara probably doesn't think so. From Madara's point of view, everyone except Akaban and Uzumaki Maito is a waste. It is not worth paying attention to how many people come to him as he can destroy them. For example, the third Reikijari. The comics say that he is strong enough to compete with the eight-tailed beast and is very powerful. But does Madara care? With his strength, it is quite easy to play the eight-tailed beast, where it is necessary for the third rakage in the comics to be as exhausted and even hurt himself in the end. It sounds compelling, but in fact, it is not. Like me, Achaiha Madara. Defeating and making the Kiyuubi obey him, letting it help him deal with Senju Hashirama without any resistance this is compelling. Of course. His own record of competing with Senju Hashirama but drill loss made him even more famous. This is what Madara did not expect, who would have thought that even adding a nine tail but was still beaten by Senju Hashirama with wood style. Losing against Senju Hashirama, Madara has nothing to say. He can only say that he is not strong enough. It is a pity that now he has the Rinnegan, there are no Senju Hashirama in the world anymore. It is his great regret in life. Madara sighed with emotion and continued to look back. He didn't pay much attention to the content in the front, it was all scenes of battles and full of talking, especially the so-called Ninja Alliance Jutsu, no matter how many mobs there are, they are still mobs. But what Madara cares about is the issue of Ten Tails and Black Zetsu. However, Akaban hasn't drawn related content for a long time. 
Looking at the current plot, I am afraid that there are still a lot of things to draw. If he wanted to know the secret of the Ten Tales, as expected, he would have to wait a long time. He sighed softly and looked back boredly. Here, Abito is obviously not the same as Madara, and I am afraid that he will be convinced and betrayed in the end. But if it is himself, he will definitely take the next step to prevent Abito from betraying. Black Zetsu is just one aspect. In addition, Akaban wrote in the comic that Black Zetsu is the consciousness incarnation of Madara and the creation of Yin and Yang. From the comics, it seems to make sense, but Madara thinks about it carefully but feels that it is not right. How could Black Zetsu be the embodiment of his own Yin Yang style consciousness? It was sneakily stalking itself at the beginning, and it had a beyond normal understanding of the stone tablet of the Achaiha which was obviously a weird and special existence. Then Kyorama Akaban's painting meant to warn himself that this was Black Zetsu's original plan. Madara frowned slightly. He could find Black Zetsu was entirely due to an unexpected gain, so this is a very likely result. But how did Kyorama Akaban know? Is there really a dream prediction like the Great Toad Sage in this world? Perhaps because of this, that kid can possess such a strong strength and talent at such an age. Madara looked down silently and finally saw Orochimaru and Sajuk resurrected for Hokage. Hashirama. Did they resurrect the Senju brother to fight me in the comics? Without Rinnegan, Madara might still be more afraid of Senju Hashirama, but with Rinnegan, even Hashirama would not be his own opponent. This is not him talking big and setting a big banner, but about being confident enough to understand their difference. A light sound. White Zetsu broke through the soil and looked at Madara after he appeared, and then White Zetsu moved his bones before saying, Madara Sama, we have found experimental traces of impure world reincarnation. But there is no process, it's all wiped out. White Zetsu then added. Knowing that Kyorama Akaban and Uzumaki Maito were both on the front line, he was no longer afraid, and possessed White Zetsu and went to Konoha to search for the impure world reincarnation. Indeed, as previously expected, Konoha hardly stayed behind, only the third Hokage and a few other people supported the scene, so as not to be attacked. However, Although Black Zetsu possessed White Zetsu and then possessed certain combat power, it was impossible to defeat the third Hokage. He only dared to search quietly. He has been to the third Hokage office, the laboratory of Orochimaru, etc., but Akaban's home and the land of the Senju clan are the only ones that he dare not approach. He was afraid that something would happen. Akaban has the Flying Thunder God Jutsu, in case he leaves some kind of warning signal at home, he can fly back from the front line at the moment of Black Zetsu invasion. Even Madara could be restrained by Akaban's Genjutsu, so Black Zetsu didn't dare to search Akaban's house even secretly. Of course. These talks to Madara would only make Madara look down on them so they kept silent and didn't say much. If it's Saru to be Hyru Zen I can understand why you didn't search, but even Orochimaru. Madara asked with a frown. I checked it, but the seal cannot be cracked by the sealing technique. When Black Zetsu said this, White Zetsu's expression hesitated a little, they not only checked it but they were also found by Orochimaru. That kid didn't have good strength, but he has a lot of nasty methods, and his laboratory is full of various traps. If it weren't for White Zetsu physical strength and the strengthening of Hashirama cells, it couldn't resist many injuries. And he has to rest for a long time after this trip. Madara snorted when he heard that there were twists and turns inside. Madara had long understood that Black Zetsu couldn't help him in battle. 
Although White Zetsu's strength is acceptable, research genius like Orochimaru must be heavily protected. White Zetsu's best choice is to run. But at least, Black Zetsu must be able to bring people back. He stared at Black Zetsu. Black Zetsu was stared at, so he had to bite the bullet and replied, The kid is very slippery. After avoiding a blow with a special substitute technique, he threw a scroll and summoned the third hockage. Sure enough, this guy is really useless in combat except for his deep scheming. Fortunately, this is the case, otherwise, he might have been a victim of Black Zetsu long ago, and, I had to thank my Whisper Devil Fruit for that. Madara secretly said in his heart. He didn't seem to have any waves on the surface, he just waved his hand to show that he knew, and then continued to read the comic book. There is still a little ending here. But after just one glance, he tossed the comic aside. He couldn't believe the words of Senju Tobirama. Although this is only a comic, the face in the comic is almost exactly the same as the real Senju Tobirama which makes him unconsciously think of the previous scenes, and the days of fighting are simply unforgettable. It's a pity that he couldn't get reincarnated from the impure world reincarnation. Madara was a little sorry. Seeing the four great hawkage being summoned, he had an idea in his mind why not summon Senju Tobirama. Senju Tobirama died too quickly. If Senju Tobirama got resurrected by him, he can torture him crazily to vent his hatred. In addition, he can also let him fight the resurrected Senju Hashirama, and even force him to help himself and realize his long-cherished wish for years. Unfortunately, everything is imaginative. Black Zetsu is under great pressure. Why does Madara's face look like this? Don't tell me it's because of the impure world reincarnation. Besides, this forbidden technique is so important, it is expected to be blocked. What can I do if I can't get it? I am also desperate. Black Zetsu screamed in his heart. Land of River Camp. Akaban completed his goal, thinking about the next move in his mind. Wood style has already been redeemed. He tried it out and the effect is quite good. Maybe it's because it's the Hashirama version of Sage Body he redeemed, there was no lag. Should I continue to update and strive to earn more points? It seems unnecessary. With his current strength, he should not be afraid of Madara. After all, he also has a Sage Body and Rinnegan which is almost the same as Madara's configuration. Although there are some differences in attributes, Akaban is better in Genjutsu, and his mental power has risen to a certain level beyond Madara. He should have a high degree of confidence in cooperating with the others to defeat him. But right now, he needs to wait for an opportunity. Hashirama sells. Akaban has already applied to Danza to get the Hashirama cells transplantation the day after tomorrow. Before the change, it was impossible for him to withstand the backlash of the cells of Hashirama, but now his body is the same as Hashirama so there is no need to fear any backlash. Of course. Operating Hashirama cells is useless. This thing is just a process for him allowing people to more naturally accept that his main Jekyo Sharingan Gan has transformed into Rinnegan after the operation. Another day, um, to solve the Seven Tails issue, it's not a problem to keep it on Kakuzu's side. Akaban thought for a moment. The Seven Tails is a hidden danger after all. It was taken out from the hidden waterfall village for two purposes. One was not to let Madara and Black Zetsu succeed, and the other was to force Hidden Waterfall Village to join the Alliance. But now that the old stubborn gang of Hidden Waterfall Village has come out of their turtle shell and plans to fight against Madara with everyone, he doesn't need to hide the seven tails and keep Kakuzu babysit on it.
Maybe he will have to add money. Kakuzu is a master of money. Of course. This also has an advantage. As long as the money is in place, his ethics are so low that it makes people ridiculous. For example, he will do it without hesitation when dealing with his own village. If the money is enough, betraying his partners should not be a problem. The only difference is that Akaban is strong, and the price of betraying him is known to be unbearable. The Genjutsu of the Kyorama clan is different from ordinary Genjutsu. Now that Kakuzu knows that Akaban has a share in Gan his assessment of Akaban's strength will naturally be improved by several levels according to his judgment, it is not difficult for Akaban to kill him. Genjutsu After five Genjutsu attacks, his five hearts may be gone, because the Kyorama clan's turning the illusion into reality is very difficult to resist. Unless it was the last resort, otherwise he would never fight with Akaban. Akaban left a wood-style clone and four shadow clones in the camp. The wood-style clone can act as the main body after his departure, and it's hard for others to find its weak spot. After setting up everything, he used Flying Thunder God Jutsu to leave. The location of Kakuzu is a bit far from the great camp of the Alliance forces. This is so, he is still very upset every day. The ninja reconnaissance radiation range is higher than that of ordinary people, and the Alliance force has enough manpower. I am afraid that he will be spotted sooner or later, but after a while, he found that his worries were unnecessary. Danza seems to be an ally. Yes. Konoha Anbu is in charge of patrolling here. They never check the location of where Kakuzu is located intentionally, which is no different from blindness. And after he arrived, that was where he appeared. This time the coordinates are not in the treasure room, probably because Kakuzu is afraid of taking his money secretly. Akaban thought to himself. Afterwards, he spread his perception abilities and searched for the location of Kakuzu. Kakuzu's home has a barrier set up to shield the atmosphere from inside and outside, but the barrier set by Akaban can of course be broken and ignored. Soon, he found the position of Kakuzu. This guy is very cunning. In the basement, he left a subordinate and a clone to check it out, while his main body was hiding in another base not far away. If anything goes wrong here, it will be known to him for the first time, and then he will make a corresponding judgment. It is whether to fight or escape. His cunningness is indeed an S rank. Akaban secretly admired. Knowing the location, it's easy to find him again, even if it is a little far away, but with the ability of his main Jekyo share in Gan, it is not difficult to make a mark. Realization Mark Flying Thunder God Jutsu Kakuzu was drinking fruit wine, looking at the comics, and realizing that there was someone behind him, his movements became stiff, and it took a few seconds to gradually relax. Only Akaban has this ability. Kakuzu, I want to take the seven-tailed Jinchu Yuriki away, so as not to stay here and cause you trouble. Akaban was straightforward. Actually it's okay. Kakuzu chuckled. Having the seven-tailed Jinchu Yuriki here, the daily charges are quite expensive but since it's all paid, he didn't care. I don't need to pay the money on your side. By the way, has the Jinchu Yuriki found anything abnormal? No. Right now he is with my clone and subordinates. It would be easy to find him if you follow the vine. Kakuzu said seriously. He read the comic, of course, he knew why Akaban did it. If Madara gets the tailed beasts, even just a few of them, the threat will double. What he meant was, the strength of the Jinchu Yuriki would not stay. Akaban thought for a moment, and there was a plan in his heart. People naturally cannot stay. However, 
the way of appearance can be arranged to make it more credible, at least not to know that it is Konoha at a glance, leaving people with a handle. A few seconds later, Akaban uses Dojutsu to control the Jinshuriki to leave Kakuzu. The seven-tailed Jinchu Yuriki can fly, plus Akaban's Genjutsu hint, they can avoid most ninjas' detection, plus Akaban's path chosen is the route with the least number of ninja, so he easily reached the periphery of the enchantment where Uzumaki Maito is. Uzumaki Maito discovered them the moment they entered her barrier. However, when she saw the seven-tailed Jinchu Yuriki following behind Akaban, she understood the reason only after thinking for a moment, so she didn't act immediately, but waited for the traps to be triggered, then stood up and appeared outside, Black Zetsu is here, be careful. What? The personnel left by every village were shocked for a moment and then moved quickly. Afterwards, they discovered the identity of the visitor. The seven-tailed Jinchu Yuriki. But what they see is that the black on the seven-tailed Jinchu Yuriki's body slowly faded away, followed by a roar, and turned into a huge tail beast. Fully tailed beast transformation. Attention, the seven-tailed Jinchu Yuriki is being controlled by Madara and Black Zetsu. He probably wanted to destroy our enchantment and plunder other Jinchu Yurikis. You must protect the enchantment and wait for me to complete the seal. Uzumaki Maito commanded loudly. No one doubted her, because the Seven Tails Jinshuriki after its tailed beast transformation really has a striking share in Gan pattern in its eyes, which is a sign of being controlled. Not far away, Akaban put the sealing scroll in his pocket a large part of the Seven Tailed Chakra was sealed in this scroll. Especially Maito, she split up a clone, it rushed out of the barrier and she can directly kill the seven-tailed Jinchu Yuriki who turned into a beast. As expected, her clone alone is enough to deal with most people, including the seven-tailed beast. Adamantine Sealing Chains Under the powerful seal, the seven tail gradually became unable to move, but within a few seconds, the seven-tailed struggled fiercely, and gradually broke free from the blockade. A tail beast bomb gathered in his mouth and crashed into the barrier. The speed was too fast, no one except Uzumaki Maito reacted, but even if she resisted fast enough, she failed to protect the barrier. In the next second, a black shadow emerged from the ground quickly plundering all the chakras of the tailed beasts outside the nine tails barrier, and then quickly fled away. No one can catch him from start to finish because of his speed. It's too fast, the ability of earth style is quite terrifying and cannot be caught at all. However, Black Zetsu's current exposure rate is not low, and everyone has sufficient information, but with these clues, they soon believed that he was doing it. How dare you? Uzumaki Maito roared very cooperatively, pretending that she was restrained by the tail beast at the same time maintaining the barrier and couldn't make a move to catch Black Zetsu. At this moment, her acting skills are wild, like a queen. Black Zetsu. Akaban finally arrived. Go chase Black Zetsu. I can't move temporarily because I'm sustaining the barrier and holding the seven tail. Uzumaki Maito's voice was so loud that everyone in the audience could hear it. Akaban pursued in accordance with her words. But this was just a play, it was his wood-style clone who changed into a black zetsu. The rest of the ninjas followed suit. After chasing for a while, they found that Black Zetsu began to throw the energy of the tail beast. The violent tail beast energy dissipates at will, and once it is absorbed by people, it will cause serious consequences. Those ninjas don't dare to mess around and can only stop and stay, watching Akaban use the sealing technique to seal them before daring to follow. But Akaban and Black Zetsu were very fast and it didn't take long for them to lose their track. 
After half an hour, Akaban returned to where the barrier was. At this time, all the top alliance forces have arrived. How about it? Danza is extremely anxious. He knew from the beginning that the seven-tailed Jinchu Yuriki was not in the hands of Black Zetsu and Madara, but in the hands of Akaban, so needless to say, he knew that this incident was not done by Black Zetsu at all, but was entirely planned by his own disciples. Black Zetsu stalled us with the tail beast chakra all the way. I had to seal it since it's dangerous so I got distracted so I spent some time and as a result, I was unable to catch up with Black Zetsu, but I snatched a lot of the tail beast chakra. Akaban took out those sealed scrolls. Fortunately, you took back a lot, and with nine-tailed chakra that they were unable to get, Madara can't complete the ten-tailed transformation, otherwise the consequences would be disastrous. Uzumaki Maito immediately made the matter serious. Madara and Black Zetsu are too cunning. They have gathered eight chakras of tailed beasts now. So nine tailed chakras must never be obtained again, otherwise, we may face a more terrifying Uchiha Madara. Yes, I suggest increasing the defensive manpower here. As a result, everyone was madly condemning Madara and Black Zetsu. Of course, the leaders of the other villages of the Alliance are not fools. Thinking about this matter carefully, there are actually some details that can be questioned, but everyone has chosen to remain silent. Including the Waterfall Village. They didn't doubt about Black Zetsu but felt that Konoha's behavior was a bit weird. If you carefully taste it, there is a taste of profiting from somebody's misfortune. But as the third rakage said, the chakras of the other tailed beasts were all collected by Madara, so the importance of the nine tails is beyond doubt. Nine tailed Jinchu Yuriki strength is exactly from Konoha's, that is to say, the current situation of the Alliance forces is very similar to that in the comics, everyone must guard Konoha's Jinchu Yuriki to avoid being acquired by the opponent, and let Madara's strength increase. It is more impossible to bypass Konoha and act on their own. However, no one has delved into this matter. Although things are strange, the tailed beast is back anyway, and Konoha has no intention of vying for it. They still give it to Hidden Waterfall Village for disposal, and the rest can be selectively ignored. If they go deeper, it won't be beautiful. Who makes Akaban and Uzumaki Maito the only ones who can fight against Madara and Black Zetsu? If their villages are stronger, why bother to form an alliance and send their tail beast to the land of river to be controlled by others as it is now? But if they still refuse and didn't send their Jinchu Yuriki here, then their ending would be the same as the Mist Village. After all, their strength is still not strong enough and the Hidden Waterfall Village had previously stubbornly thought that no one could find their Jinchu Yuriki, but in fact, Black Zetsu found it easily. This is the truth. No one went deep into the seven-tailed matter, and Konoha didn't have the willingness to confess, so the matter was not exposed. As for Akaban, he was wondering how to deal with these kinds of chakras. There are a total of seven, tailed beasts in the land of the river. In the wave just now, each of them used the absorbing power of Rinnegan a lot, but the chakra of the remaining two tailed beasts is not very good. One tail and six tails are in Madara's hands. Maybe he can wait for him to seal the chakra inside, and then bring the demonic statue of the outer path, summoning it by himself. Fortunately, his Rinnegan is hidden. Akaban was smug in his heart, Madara thinks that the demonic statue of the outer path is more important than Black Zetsu's life, and bringing his demonic statue of the outer path to summon over is no different from seizing food from the tiger's mouth. After completing the plan, he was so happy that if he did it, Madara would be trembling with anger for sure. If he failed, 
there would be no loss. At least Madara summoning the demonic statue of the outer path will definitely consume a lot of his chakra. Compared with physical strength and chakra reserves, how can Madara beat this young man? Now only the Hashirama cells are needed. As long as he gets the Hashirama cells, he can evolve out of the Rinnegan in a fair manner. On the other side, the comics are updated as usual. In another update today, it's when Abito becomes Tentails Jinshriki and enters the Six Path Mode. There are quite a few small plots during this period, but most of it is battles and conflicts. But there is a plot, Akaban is looking forward to it. Madara has also been reading it, and when he saw Senju Hashirama rejecting the Madara challenge, his expression became sluggish. But when the thought of Hashirama being resurrected just to fight him again, Madara's mood must be very refreshing. But this is just to think about it. Although Madara's current strength is not as good as the state after being born and resurrected by Revolving Heaven in the comics, it is better than impure world reincarnation. Summoning Senju Hashirama will not help much, instead, it is a gift to Senjutsu Chakra. If Madara were to get Senjutsu Chakra, instead of throwing a rock on his own foot and making it more difficult, it is really unnecessary. There are clones in the comics who are solving it, so there is no need for him to intervene. Akaban's question is when to launch the general attack. With the current hard strength, there is no problem dealing with Madara in Rinnegan's state. It doesn't make sense to continue to tow it, but it will increase the possibility of capsizing. Then, when the Hashirama cells are in place and his Rinnegan is revealed, they will attack directly. It is just the past few days to update and harvest a wave of points. After slowly increasing his mental power, it has reached 350 points. This mental power must be much more than Madara. Akaban didn't intend to continue to increase it and started adding physique attributes after rounding up to the whole number of 305. Many ninja allied forces contributed points together, and the income brought was quite high, at least 20 to 30,000 a day. Tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. In two days, it's enough to make up 40 to 50,000. Although it's not a lot, it can improve his physique a lot. When facing Madara, even if it is difficult to perform truly powerful Genjutsu in the face of Madara, he can use physical skills to win. Although this possibility is very, very low. In the afternoon of the same day, Akaban explained to Uzumaki Maito why he did this. The process went smoothly, and Uzumaki Maito had already guessed the cause and effect, so he didn't need to go into details. It's just about Akaban's actions, she has a lot of criticism. Hidden Waterfall Village has had a good relationship with Konoha for generations. In this case, a person died in vain. This approach is somewhat unnatural. Akaban did not refute. Of course. Uzumaki Maito is not the kind of person who doesn't tell right from wrong. She knows that Hidden Waterfall Village is a group of conservative and stubborn guys. It is impossible for them to listen just by explaining it. Only this way can they and those small countries join the Ninja Alliance. After explaining this, he went to Danza and talked about transplanting Hashirama cells. The Hashirama cells are dangerous, but they are also very powerful. Danza has been wondering whether to try a new transplantation plan on himself. As a result, his disciples who have not made a decision on their own promising future first brought it up. It reminded him of the sad things that year. After hesitating for a while, after Akaban's continuous persuasion and analysis, he reluctantly agreed to Akaban's decision, but if there was an accident, he would forcibly interrupt the integration. 
In the afternoon of the same day, after completing the update, he began to rest and accumulate Senjutsu Chakra. And it's not until the second day that someone comes to his door. Danza sent someone over to inform that Hashirama cells have arrived. Akaban didn't intend to delay and didn't let his teacher mention it to Uzumaki Maito. He was a little afraid of the legendary female ninja the perception was too high, and any clues could be observed by her. Although Uzumaki Maito herself opened one eye and closed one eye when it came to him, but this time it is related to Rinnegan, the legendary eyes. He didn't want to take this unnecessary risk and could hide something, so. In the early morning, he went to a secret site that opened up temporarily. Orochimaru also came to the front line. Hearing that Akaban was going to fuse the cells of Hashirama, he didn't dare to delay at all, and he didn't want to use other people to come from Konoha himself, and Might Dewey was also coming with him. After a period of training, Might Dewey has fully adapted to the Seven Gate state. Now he is definitely not to be underestimated. Orochimaru is very smart. He knew very well that Akaban was cautious by nature, if he was not absolutely sure, he would never take the initiative to make such a request. So this integration will surely be successful. This is a great opportunity to observe, how can he miss it? Cell fusion is very simple because the vitality and elusiveness of the cells of Hashirama are too strong. Normally, Akaban only needs to cut a hole and then add the flesh of the cells of Hashirama to the wound, and it will automatically heal and spread. But Akaban has a sage body. His physique is at the same level as the Senju Hashirama, and he is not afraid of the cells of Hashirama at all. Instead, he has to worry about what to do if there are no symptoms of spreading or abnormal changes. That would definitely be a problem. Therefore, he must actively suppress his body's resilience, and minimize the recovery and confrontation effects of his body close to the wound it is not difficult to have a life back. After a while, Akaban cut open the wound and then stuffed Hashirama cells onto the wound. The wound healed quickly. It's starting to absorb chakra. Orochimaru's complexion was solemn. From the beginning, what happened to Akaban seemed to be no different from ordinary people, but in the next second, he saw Akaban open his main Jekyo Sharingan. In an instant, his eyes widened. Main Jekyo. Danza seems to be not surprised at all which means that Shimura Danza already knew about this, but why didn't he know it? Is this kid worried about me using him for research? Orochimaru was secretly sad. Am I this kind of person? Okay, Orochimaru admitted that he was really interested in the topic of Sharingan, especially how he awakened Mainjeku when Akaban didn't lose any of his relatives, family or friends. This is a very interesting subject, but it is obvious that Akaban cannot agree to be an experimental subject, otherwise he would not hide it from himself until now. Orochimaru can only sigh with regret and then focus on the changes in front of him. After opening the main Jekyo Sharingan, the abnormal changes on Akaban's body were obviously suppressed, which is in line with his research on the cells of Hashirama. Orochimaru in fact, once proposed the subject of Uchiha's cooperation in the research, but unfortunately, no one agreed. The third Hokage did not agree, because they did not want Uchiha to strengthen it further. On the one hand, Uchiha's consideration is the same as above, and on the other hand, they were worried about personal injury caused by the failure of the experiment. Taking into account if Uchiha Yuan will agree. But the main Jekyo Sharingan alone cannot suppress the Hashirama cells. Akaban's acting is not so exaggerated. He pretended to be unable to suppress it, and even green sprouts grew on his arms, but soon, he mobilized the chakra inside and suppressed it further. 
After more than 10 seconds, its abnormal changes finally gradually subsided. Danza let out a long sigh of relief. Although he doesn't know if he can awaken his Rinnegan, at least the cell is suppressed now and won't go berserk, and Akaban will not be in danger of life, on the contrary, he can gain the power of Hashirama cells. First level pass. Akaban began to perform the second wave, and there was no need to make any movement this time. Just sit quietly for a while. Mobilize the energy of the sage body's body and the energy of the sharing gan, and create the power of the six path. The process is very simple. But for Danza and Orochimru, this process is not simple at all. As bystanders, their hearts are almost reaching their throats. In case of success, Akaban can be called the third person in the ages that awakened it. A few seconds later, he completed the extraction of the six path, stimulating his eyes. It's a success. Danza was ecstatic, more excited than Akaban, and kept slapping his thighs. Orochimru is also very happy. But he doesn't know why, when he saw how Danza was so happy that he kept slapping his leg several times, it made him feel weird. Ha, huh, I didn't expect it, it really succeeded. Akaban sighed, pretending to be overwhelmed. Congratulations. Orochimru frowned slightly with pain, but he was sincerely happy for Akaban. With the awakening of his Rinnegan, his strength is even stronger. As for strength, Orochimru has no pursuit. His goal is to have more ninjutsu knowledge, unravel ninjutsu mysteries, and develop more ninjutsu and tijutsu skills. As for battles, it is not the style of an intellectual to be able to participate without participating. Of course. The role of intellectuals in the war is not bad at all. Apart from anything else, the artillery ninjutsu developed in the past was also excellent, and they have played a lot in dealing with Sand Village. Although the power is not too strong, the combination made a group of Voldemort who like to command the puppets suffer a big loss. Fortunately, as I expected, it was successfully suppressed and the power of six paths was extracted. It seems that Madara did what I did at the time. Akaban explained with emotion. Neither theory nor reality seemed to be faulty, but no one dared to let Achaiha experiment. After all, even if Achaiha's people have main Jeku, not everyone has such a strong power as Akaban. Akaban and Madara's success are only a few examples and cannot be promoted as inevitable. On the other hand, for the same reason as before, it is not a good thing for Konoha that Achaiha is too strong. The trio tested various abilities again and Akaban discussed with Danza and Orochimru about the summoning of the demonic statue of the Outer Path and the strategy of stealing Madara's labor. And the two expressed their full support. Back at the camp, the comic has been delivered, so a bunch of people crowded at the shop. Still 20 chapters. In the content of today's 20 chapters, I am afraid that there is not much key information that Madara cares about, but the history of friendship between him and Hashirama is completely shaken out. During this period of history, Akaban also specifically asked Uzumaki Maito. Except for the details, the rest is basically the same as in the comics. After the release of the comics, the camp became very lively. A group of people held the comics to communicate over there, and it became the second small tea shop. There are many stories that shock people's hearts. For one thing, when Madara and Hashirama were in their childhood, both of them were a bit funny and naive, but because of this, they became more real, and Madara didn't like others to stand behind him. This is the point. A person who was very alert to the back of his childhood was finally killed by someone behind his back. 
it shows how much Madara trusts Black Zetsu and almost truly sees it as his own. Of course. The current Madara must not be able to understand how the character in manga is so mentally disabled, Akaban has already made up the scene when he remembers that scene. It must be very exciting, but unfortunately, he couldn't see that scene. Among all the comic viewers, Madara has given the most points. Since he knew that he would read the comics, he has been diligent in serving himself, and if he wanted to kill him all at once, there was always a feeling of losing the grind and killing the donkey. But there is no way. Who makes Madara want to launch Infinite Zukuyomi, and he wants to live? In order to survive, Madara can only die. Akaban summoned four or five wood-style clones and let them create the update in the tent, while he walked out of the camp and wandered around. Today this comic was delivered, and many people came to borrow it as soon as possible. Regardless of comic or reality, everyone can feel the urgency of the rain. Many ninjas understand that the war may be about to begin because the tasks of the ninjas have begun to increase. With this kind of mood, although the story of Hashirama and Madara is interesting, they cannot be attracted. Because they are not Konoha's people, they will not have any resonance. Only envy, jealousy and hatred, and feel that Konoha is too lucky to be able to give birth to a peerless genius like Madara and Hashirama in Ninja World at the beginning. They don't know this, but the comics are even more extreme. The other generations of ninja are weaker than the first generation, but Konoha's generation is stronger than the first generation, and each generation has a strong ability to do things. No matter how you look at it, it's like heaven was on Konoha's side. But the fact is true. Kyorama Akaban is Konoha's most anticipated new generation of powerhouses. It can only be said that their village does not have such talents for comics and storytelling, otherwise they won't be jealous of Akaban comics. Unfortunately, it's all other people's problems. Originally, they were only reading comics to pass time, but later the village leaders couldn't help feeling sad. After the alliance, everyone has a deeper understanding of Konoha, and they understand how powerful Konoha is. No matter the new generation of ninjas or the new ninjutsu and physical skills research, they far exceed their villages, and Akaban mentioned that this ninjutsu has the possibility of theoretical development, which shocked and surprised them most. People with many talents can come up with so many things. If you didn't see a real person, perhaps everyone thought Akaban was an old man in a child's clothing who would have thought that he was just a teenager. Probably this is forcing everyone to learn from childhood to most of them. People who are not familiar with Akaban always think so naively that Akaban is a hard-working genius, since he can create such a great story and different kinds of ideas. But those who really know Akaban all understand that. This guy is just a lazy child. For Akaban, Breathing alive already made him tired, let alone reading and exercising, expecting him to read does not exist. However, this kind of statement is somewhat unfair to the previous Kyorama Akaban. The previous Kyorama Akaban was actually relatively diligent. However, he is indeed in poor health. He has a lot of time every day to become comatose. How can he practice diligently? But now this one is really lazy, and the rest are excuses for not revealing his own talent. On the contrary, Akaban's style is too obvious, and it has covered all the impressions that the previous person made to others in just over a month. In this way, no one cares about the six paths of Abito. Everyone knows that the plot of Abito is on its last whitewashing routine. It is impossible for him to be the last boss. If you really want to see the big boss story, you have to wait for Achiha Madara. 
Ma Dara who has a Rinnegan is already so strong, it will be completely different if he becomes the ten-tailed Jinchu Yuriki. The strength of Uchiha Madara in the six path mode is probably too strong, and if it is compared to a Bito six path, they are incomparable. Of course, a Bito also plays an important role. Otherwise, there will be no two Tomos for awakening. He also didn't trust Madara completely. He can only say that his strength is not as good as Madara. The power of the six path, my mission to save my mother, who is this kid, Kyorama Akaban, how can he know so much? Black Zetsu stared at the comic, his heartbeat speeding up sharply. After being invited to read comics several times by Madara, he started to learn shrewdly. Every time the comics are updated, before looking for Madara, he first finds a hidden place and reads what the comics are like in there, so that he can be mentally prepared so that he won't be able to answer a certain question suddenly and let Madara see the flaws. There are many strange things in today's update, which aroused the suspicion of Black Zetsu. A lot of information in the comics is something that even the old toad could not know, otherwise, the old toad would not sit back and watch what happened to Indra and Asura. There is also his mission of saving his mother. Even if that little devil is the reincarnation of the six path immortals, it is impossible to know that Black Zetsu is the third son of Princess Kaguya. Of course, it is not without a wonderful situation. The opening paragraph of Madara and the boring past between Senju Hashirama, and how he slowly went from a person who loves Konoha to this step under his own planning. To be honest. Seeing this plot, Black Zetsu felt very proud in his heart. Madara may be extremely arrogant, but he is by no means the kind of stupid man who can get to this point. This can be seen from his thinking of Uchiha's future in Konoha. Therefore, Madara is a smart man. There is nothing more interesting and proud than deceiving a wise man, unknowingly making him live in the direction he planned, but the catch is that Madara found his whereabouts somehow. But here is another question. It stands to reason that even Uzumaki Maito, who was good at perception at the time, could not find him, and he had not been spotted by Madara for decades, but he became unlucky the moment he met that devil Kyorama Akaban, especially in the country of water. Wait, the country of water. A memory that was almost forgotten by Black Zetsu appeared in Black Zetsu's mind. The reason why Madara went to the water country at the beginning seemed to be for something called Devil Fruit. That thing was mentioned for the first time in the One Piece of Kyorama Akaban, and Kyorama Akaban seemed to be in the country of water. Is this a coincidence? Before, Black Zetsu thought that everyone was going for the devil fruit that was fake, so he didn't take it to heart, but now he thinks about it carefully, how can there be such a simple thing? From that moment on, Madara found his whereabouts and was followed by various strange and inexplicable probes. Could it be that Kyorama Akaban did something to Madara at that time? Or, among those devil fruits, there is a real devil fruit. Such as the one in Kyorama Akaban comics. Black Zetsu hadn't read One Piece very much before, so he didn't react. He stopped reading One Piece when the story was on Sky Island. Suddenly Black Zetsu's mind pauses. Doesn't that kid's thunder and lightning seem to be the fruit of thunder? That's right. It is the fruit of thunder. Black Zetsu's thoughts suddenly cleared up, don't tell me why he found me was because of the heart web of Enel who ate the thunder devil fruit. No way. He couldn't believe it. With that said, Akaban can turn the comics into reality. As for Konoha, these techniques have already existed. 
This is basically impossible because he observed Konoha's state for a long time while observing Madara. He can be sure that Konoha does not have such ninjutsu. They are not the moves in the chakra system at all, but another new system developed with physical and spiritual power. In this way, Madara may have really gained the power of the devil fruit. He doesn't know what kind of devil fruit, but he knows that it is definitely a fruit with a probing function, otherwise, it is impossible to find his location at the time, and later he frequently used some comics to test him. Black Zetsu was deeply annoyed. He wasn't interested in One Piece before. Even though Madara had been reading it, he didn't care about reading that comic book, but as Madara's boring pastime, he knew that there was something else. It's too late now. He didn't know that Madara had already realized that he was lying, but it was foreseeable that coming near Madara is not safe anymore. Black Zetsu originally planned to find Madara, but suddenly thought of these key points. To be cautious, he didn't dare to go back to Madara. It might be fine to go back, but if Madara knew his secret, sealed him. No, I still have my mother to save, I can't fall here. Black Zetsu made up his mind. I can't go back. The secret of Black Zetsu's survival to the present is that no one can find himself, and the other is to spare his life, as long as Madara really threatens his safety, no matter how important he is, he can make up his mind to give up. Madara is the same for him. Rinnegan, Sage Body, as long as the Ten Tails Jinshriki is in place, Madara can directly incarnate the Six Path Mode. At that time, Black Zetsu plans to use the will of his mothers to suppress Madara's consciousness inside and out, and mother will be able to resurrect. But, it can be said that there is only one step away from success, but this step seems to Black Zetsu as if the sky cannot be crossed at all, and the risk of him continuing to follow Madara is so high that it is scary. It is better to hide and wait for the new Indra incarnation to be born. If the next generation is born, he can use the name of Madara. Even after one or two generations, the legend of Madara will not be obliterated. Then he will guide and wait for him to grow to a certain extent until he obtains Rinnegan and Hashirama cells. Then isn't the ten-tailed Jinchu Yuriki ready? Besides, recently he always feels frightened and nervous as if someone had shamed him when he didn't know it, just taking this opportunity to retreat and wait for the opportunity to perfect his plan. Black Zetsu made up his mind and immediately changed his direction and headed to the place where the Uzumaki clan kid was hiding. Madara was waiting in the cave. Like Black Zetsu, he has also been very upset recently, but he attributed the anxiety to Black Zetsu. Therefore, the more upset he is, the more vigilant he is, especially recently he discovered a key piece of information. Black Zetsu led the seven-tailed Jinchu Yuriki to attack the barrier and snatched the tail beast chakra from the barrier. Black Zetsu also had the opportunity to contact the one-tailed and the six-tail. That means that he got the opportunity to collect all the eight-tailed beast chakras. Black Zetsu hasn't come back yet. Madara frowned. Black Zetsu hadn't returned for a long time, and he was a little unconscious in reading comics. He hated that guy before, but suddenly he didn't show up. It seemed a bit weird. Especially when Kyorama Akaban performed the moving picture, the number of times Black Zetsu appeared by his side was greatly reduced. Don't tell me. Nothing was found around the hidden sand village and our side. White Zetsu sold decisively. Of course, they really don't know Black Zetsu's plan, let alone Black Zetsu's departure. This guy. Madara cursed in his heart did his guess come true. When will Black Zetsu not run away? 
why choose this time? Did Black Zetsu really get the Eight Tail Beast Chakra? Madara has never trusted Black Zetsu, so when he knew that Black Zetsu was not in the surrounding area, he immediately thought about the bad things Black Zetsu has a deep obsession and a very special relationship with the Ten-Tailed Beast, and it is impossible for him to give up saving the Ten-Tailed Body. Change places, Black Zetsu might betray us. Madara made a decisive decision, the comics closed, and immediately ordered White Zetsu to take action and clean up the guys around him. If he wants to move, he can't care about comics for a while. Until the afternoon, he moved the demonic statue of the outer path and everything from the cave to the devil desert behind Hidden Sand Village, and then he was free to read the comics in hand. What the hell? It's all the dark history between me and Hashirama, why that woman Uzumaki Maito has such a big mouth. He probably didn't know that Konoha had not only One Piece and Naruto, but also a comic called Ninja God Hashirama Daily Life. There was a lot of black history of Hashirama, and of course, Madara who was a good friend of Hashirama. And its rate is quite high. Of course. Seeing the righteous remarks made by Senju Hashirama, his liver couldn't help but hurt again. How great it would be to reincarnate that guy using the impure world reincarnation. The plot at the back was basically Madara's expectation. Only the appearance of the Six Path made him somewhat surprised, but it was not too surprising. Regardless of the plot or reality, Achiha is a race that is difficult to control. On this point, his argument with Hashirama is surprisingly consistent. It's a powerful mode. Madara muttered to himself. It's a pity that Black Zetsu got the Tail Beast Chakra unwilling to help him, his purpose must be different from his own, he can only say, it's a pity, there is another idiot to kill in the world. He was silent for a long time and then put the comics aside. This thing. He roughly guessed the next content. I am afraid that Black Zetsu will betray him. When that happens, his goal is to draw a basket of water, and Konoha's two main protagonists will shine in this war and become a new generation of double masters in the ninja world. Oh, what a boring plot. It seems we can't wait any longer, it's time to launch the final attack. But before then, Black Zetsu must die. Madara got up, with a decision in his heart. It is difficult for ordinary people to find Black Zetsu, but Madara has his own way in the frost country to the north, there is a red-haired boy hiding in a remote mountain village. It was deserted there, but Madara found it in the end. As long as Black Zetsu cares about Rinnegan and Ten Tails, he will definitely not give up Uzumaki clan's chess piece, otherwise, even if he gets Rinnegan, there is no candidate for it and can only leave it. That's not Black Zetsu's style. Madara was very determined and set off at night to head to the country of Frost. Akaban didn't know that in a scene he directed and acted in, the audience was not just the Alliance forces, but Madara in the Land of Wind was also fooled by incomplete information. This is not Madara's stupidity. It can only be said that Madara and Black Zetsu's distrust has reached a level that cannot be eased. In addition, Black Zetsu generally does not stay on the edge of Madara for a long time, wandering outside for a long time causing Madara to have no idea what Black Zetsu did outside. Taking the seven-tailed Jinchu Yuriki case as an example, at first, Madara thought that Konoha got the seven-tailed Jinchu Yuriki in order to control the small countries like Hidden Waterfall Village to join the Alliance forces, but Madara didn't think that there was no possibility of Black Zetsu hiding it from him. He just thought that the probability was even smaller. Now Black Zetsu is running away. In accordance with the situation received from Zack and the Sand and yesterday, 
the scale in Madara's heart is leaning toward Black Zetsu. If Akaban knows it, he can only say fate is really wonderful. While Madara moved, a group of leaders sat in the big camp. Of course. They weren't in a meeting, just a few of them were reading comics here, and by the way, they complained about the shameful act of Konoha. Since it was a meeting for Konoha, of course, they would not invite Konoha people. Danza wouldn't do anything to them because of this. Konoha is indeed very strong now, but these Shinobu villages can't be underestimated. They really hurt Konoha as if fighting. Besides, Madara is not dead yet. It is not a good thing to fight inwardly before the external troubles are eliminated. Just now. The leaders heard a series of hurried footsteps, and a group of leaders put up the comics and was about to hide them. As a result, they had already entered one by one from the door. Danza and Ibizo, behind them, Hansa is fully armed. According to reliable sources, Madara has gone to the land of frost. We must speed up, attack the land of wind, and retake Sand Village. Danza did not stay after speaking. He didn't come to the meeting but gave orders, and Hansa obviously meant that otherwise he wouldn't be so fully armed. The leaders of each village got the news, and soon all the ninjas began to act. Akaban drew the update in the morning and sent it to the factory. Mike Dewey, Uzumaki Maito, and many Jinchu Yuriki left the barrier together, preparing to set off together with the large army. All ninjas will go to the land of wind. It's not just to retake the sand village. In fact, for many ninja villages, they don't care about the outcome of the hidden sand village. What they care about is whether they can kill Madara's heart. The news of Madara's departure from the land of wind is reliable, but there is no doubt that there is something wrong with it. Mistakes and omissions. The Alliance forces march rashly and are vulnerable to ambush. Madara is not alone. He has half a nin village, two tailed beasts, and a bunch of unknown subordinates. No matter his own strength or the degree of difficulty is far more than before, no one has absolute confidence to defeat Madara. Even the third Rakage who mastered Finger Pistol only dared to say challenges but did not dare to say arrogant remarks about victory against Madara. The full dispatch may be cumbersome, but it can guarantee that they will not encounter an ambush and be destroyed by waves. Of course. Akaban is not on this list. As early as when the large force was dispatched, he had already sent his own wooden clone. The advantage of the wooden clone over the shadow clone was that it would take fewer chakras and do more. A typical model worker. Divided into six or seven wooden clones in one breath, let them scatter to search and find, while he himself took the time to visit Kakuzu. For him now. The Flying Thunder God Jutsu of this level can't consume many chakras from a distance, and basically, he can fully recover in a short while. There are two purposes for finding Kakuzu. First, let him participate in the war and help the Alliance forces to deal with White Zetsu. Secondly, he was previously entrusted to find the young man from the Uzumaki family. Madara's departure from the Land of Wind must be related to the red-haired young man and black Zetsu. In fact, Kakuzu did have news. This is the news that was reported early the red-haired boy appeared in the Land of Frost. After repeated inspections, all the survivors of the Uzumaki family in the Land of Uzumaki have received the fire state, so only black Zetsu has a red-haired Uzumaki member outside. As for why? According to Kakuzu's intelligence, the boy seemed to be running for his life. Why? Naturally, it is a must. Akaban guessed that Madara and Black Zetsu might have broken up. As long as Madara is not stupid, 
he can guess that there is something wrong with Black Zetsu, not to mention that Madara has whispered devil fruit right now and has never trusted Black Zetsu. Under the operation of Akaban, the gap between Madara and Black Zetsu will become larger and larger. Of course, Madara didn't necessarily really leave the land of the wind, he wouldn't give up his base so easily, and he might have deliberately let his clone pretend to leave the land of wind. If the Alliance forces advance aggressively at this time, they will inevitably suffer an ambush. But, with Uzumaki Maito here, unless Achaiha Madara himself came, the ambush is just useless this is why Danza requires Uzumaki Maito and everyone to follow along. In fact, Madara arrived in the land of frost as early as noon. In the land of frost. Madara used Chaibaku Tensir and it exploded into the sky, pulling out the Uzumaki clan teenagers and Black Zetsu inside. The red-haired teenagers are dead. Black Zetsu is very strong and tenacious. Even under the Chaibaku Tensir he still failed to die. As Madara expected, the white Zetsu did not obey his orders but gave priority to Black Zetsu's orders. Before the seal, it sent Black Zetsu out of Chaibaku Tensia's range with its strength. If not, Madara had already sealed Black Zetsu. He knew that the Alliance forces should have launched an attack and were about to retake the land of Wind and Sand Village, but Madara did not immediately return to defense, because what he thought at the moment was not to gather the tail beasts. White Zetsu listened to Black Zetsu words. In other words, the relationship between the Ten-Tailed and Black Zetsu was far beyond his imagination. It was definitely not the parasitic relationship between Same Harder and the Three Tails, but a mother-child relationship. Black Zetsu will definitely save Ten-Tails. Would such a person allow ten tails to be sealed into others and become the source of strength for Jinchu Yuriki? Madara's relationship with his mother is not good, but when he thinks that if Ajuna is ten tails, someone wants to seal Ajuna to within the body, and extract and squeeze his power every day. Oh, if he has the ability, he will kill everyone directly. But Black Zetsu has no ability so he can only rely on him, deceive himself, and use his own power to achieve the goal of resurrecting the Ten Tails. Although he doesn't know if what he guessed is the truth, Madara will understand it soon. But he was sure that there is a conspiracy on Ten Tails, so what about the infinite Zukuyomi? Is the Stone Tablet of Sage of Six Paths legacy really correct? If he is Black Zetsu, the son of the Ten Tails, he must have had a lot of time to study the stone tablet from ancient times to the present. Although the message left by the Sage of Six Paths is very concealed, for a whole thousand years, only fools won't find a way to crack it. What's more, Black Zetsu is by no means a fool. Is it true that everything he works hard for is a chess piece controlled by others? He resolutely left Konoha back then, broke with Senju Hashirama, resisted the humiliation of pretending to be dead and finally got it all, so that infinite Zukuyomi can realize all struggles and return to illusion, and even make the ninja profession from history disappear from the stage disappeared in exchange for the idea of world peace. However, under the heavy conspiracy, Madara was confused. At this moment, Black Zetsu is probably thinking of waiting for his death and then takes his own eyes. Madara didn't know what to do next. Originally, his plan was to leave the Limbo clone and White Jew in ambush. He first sealed Black Zetsu to obtain the chakra of the tail beast he had, and then went back and forcibly seized part of the nine-tailed chakra, temporarily activating the power of the ten-tailed. Even if it is only temporary power, it is enough for him to obtain more tail beasts, and even kill a wave to complete the feat. This is a gamble, but Madara has 90% confidence. Lost in thought for a long time, 
Madara walked slowly from the border to the land of wind and did not rush back to join the war. He is still thinking. Perhaps Black Zetsu has a plot against the Ten Tails, but is Infinite Zukuyomi true? It is the belief of Madara until now. If even Infinite Zukuyomi is false, he really doesn't know what to use to support himself to continue. However, if all this is false, one's own practice is undoubtedly making wedding dresses for others. After thinking about it for a long time, a comic and a figure appeared in his mind. Naruto, Kyorama Akaban. That kid must know Black Zetsu's secret. Madara finally speeded up towards the direction of the Land of Wind, he wanted to understand what he should do. So for the time being, he should have asked Kyorama Akaban first. Of course. Kyorama Akaban is Konoha's ninja in the Allied Forces and is also Konoha's new generation leader. With strong strength and cunning nature. He is simply a copy of Senju Tobirama, a conspirator. When dealing with him, one must be cautious and not convinced, but it is a direction anyway. At this time, Black Zetsu, who had escaped reclusively, had lingering fears. Black Zetsu guessed that Madara might have found out that he was ill-intentioned, but he never expected Madara to come and kill him so resolutely. This was completely unreasonable and completely different from the Madara he knew. What the hell is going on, why did I get to where I am today? Black Zetsu was equally confused. A good plan, only a sudden change in one or two years has become like a bereaved dog, with no subordinates, no strongholds, or even goals. He didn't know what to do next and seemed to have to wait, but when he thought of the cooked duck flying, he couldn't help but get angry. Only one step away. The same people who have fallen from the end of the world, Madara and Black Zetsu are fighting, but they are in the same state at this moment. But Madara quickly knows what to do, and Black Zetsu doesn't have any method. What can he do? Before the change, he could still be stubborn, but now the boy Kyorama Akaban has developed something like observation Haki, and he can be detected with his perception ability, and his hiding ability will no longer be invincible in the future. Forget it, I will hide from Kyorama Akaban from now on and go away. It will last a lifetime, waiting for that little devil Kyorama Akaban to die. Black Zetsu has considerable self-confidence in his lifespan. So he also wanted to understand what he should do, stay and live, and then wait until Kyorama Akaban dies. This is a long time, but he has enough patience to wait until that day. Madara changed his purpose here but his wooden clone and white Zetsu did not know, and they were carrying out his plan at this time to ambush and attack the coalition forces. Wood clones are very strong. Not only can they use ninjutsu, but they can also summon Suzano, which is like a boss for the upper ninjas. Akaban's clone swept the array behind and didn't have the first shot. After searching around, he made sure that Madara was not here. However, on the battlefield, when the clone sense was looking for Madara, he happened to see my Takado Homura. This guy is indeed old. Not only the body but also the mentality and fighting spirit. Although he has reached the battlefield, he does not have the courage to step forward and fight. Basically, he hides behind and throws kunai and shurikens and then waits for the large troops to arrive. We must say that the rivers and lakes are righteously swarming. If he is really just an ordinary jonin, then that's all, but my Takado Homura is elite jounin strength, one of the disciplines of second hockage. If Tobirama saw his disciple become a coward, I am afraid he would be so angry that he would climb the land of the dead and return to the world of the living. A true representative of the stable faction, full of experience in the battlefield, 
stable enough to make teammates afraid. However, Akaban didn't expect him to make any contribution from the beginning, as long as he didn't add chaos, it was even better for him to die. To die here, he would be a hero after the war was over, and all his previous evils would be erased. It's different while alive, that's suffering. Akaban who talked to Kakuzu came back with Kakuzu on tow, he did not go to the land of frost but went straight back here. At Madara's speed, even if he rushed there, he can return to the land of wind at any moment. Instead of going back and forth, it's better to stand still. The main reason is this is very easy, he doesn't have to go to land frost by himself. Akaban, it looks like. The voice of Uzumaki Maito sounded. This is the Yamane Ka clan's ability. There is no real body of Madara, all are wooden clones. Akaban replied. It is difficult to distinguish the wooden clones. For example, in the Senju Hashirama back then, even Madara had to rely on his Sharingan to tell which is the wooden clone and which is the real one. For example, Kakuzu didn't recognize it clearly and made a joke about the boss. Of course. If it hadn't been for Akaban, no one would have known that Kakuzu back with the first Hokage we're just puffing, and many people would still believe it. After all, the third Sashikage once faced Madara directly, isn't it also widely spread? What about the real body? Before long, the shadow clone of Uzumaki Maito arrived. This is the shadow clone of the nine-tailed chakra mode. Its speed and chakra reserves are amazing and can exist for a long time. I don't know, he may be somewhere else. Akaban spreads out his perception. Deep underground, he found White Zetsu. This White Zetsu seems to be waiting for the opportunity and currently has no intention to attack. Needless to say, it must be White Zetsu's main body. That means Black Zetsu never died. Akaban cursed secretly in his heart. Black Zetsu and Madara must have broken up, otherwise the most important white Zetsu body will not hide. His purpose is not to help Madara win the war, but more likely to obtain the Rinnegan after Madara's death. Or Madara won and became the ten-tailed Jinchu Yuriki, then Black Zetsu will arrive immediately. If it's only Madara that had Rinnegan, Akaban would probably not pay attention to white Zetsu underneath. But not anymore. A main Jekyo Sharingan pattern appeared in his eyes, and then the next second, a direct Genjutsu was activated. No need to use Flying Thunder God Jutsu. With his 350 mental powers, his main Jekyo Sharingan and Genjutsu technique alone was enough to kill White Zetsu's body, and it was a spike that could not be resisted. Before long, this White Zetsu was buried underneath forever. He almost turned into a mass of flesh, covered in charcoal. Although his vitality was strong and he was still squirming after death, his soul was actually close to death under the impact of Akaban Genjutsu. This kind of injury is very difficult to recover from. This can't be done with the Kekii Genkai of the Kyorama clan alone. The Kyorama clan's illusion is very strong, but there is a certain upper limit. It can materialize the injuries of the Genjutsu and kill the enemy but cannot make the opponent die from the spiritual level. This is the result of the combination of his main Jekyo Sharingan Genjutsu and Kyorama Kekii Genkai. Akaban sent a clone down and took out the meatball he was in a state of dying, and he could also be used as a living sacrifice of impure world reincarnation. There is nothing more suitable as a living sacrifice than White Zetsu, not to mention that it is White Zetsu's main body, and its physical activity is quite strong. If he uses it to summon Senju Hashirama, the effect is definitely better. Akaban thought to himself. Of course. 
He just thought about it. If he really wanted to summon Senju Hashirama only when mouth style jutsu of Naruto can persuade him, and he called Senju Hashirama out during the battle. Isn't that an enemy? This thing, is White Zetsu. The clone of Uzumaki Maito hesitated because this thing didn't look like a normal creature anymore. It was just a mass of flesh, all organs were ablated, but it still retained its vitality. May be integrated into Lord First Kid's cells. Akaban explained. It seems that Madara has been prepared for a long time, and has planned everything. Fortunately, you are here, otherwise. Uzumaki Maito's clone can't help but sigh when it comes to this. She knows her strength very well. Although the Nine Tails mode is very strong and her own sealing technique is also unique in the world, Madara with Rinnegan is almost unmatched, even if she recovers and fights him one on one, she will definitely not be able to beat him. It is the appearance of Akaban that can counter the current Madara. But then again, if it hadn't been for him to appear, Madara would not be able to get the Whisper Devil fruit and he would not find Black Zetsu in advance. According to the original plot, he at least accumulated enough power of six paths to turn on Rinnegan when he was almost immobile. By then, he was almost dead and had to rely on the demonic statue of the outer path to survive. Which is like now. Everything has been advanced for many years, even though Madara is old, he is still alive at an age where he can still fight. Uzumaki Maito naturally didn't know this. She communicated with Akaban for a while and then went to search other places. As one of the strongest sense ninja, she must immediately discover the real Madara. As long as Madara's traces are found, her main body can use the Yamanaka clan to convey information to Akaban. Of course. Akaban's clones are also working hard, Akaban's wooden clone is very diligent, searching for Madara's trace without any complaints, and at the same time is responsible for fighting against Madara's wooden clone and white Zetsu. But it's not just him and Uzumaki Maito fighting. Basically, all the alliance forces went into the war. The white Zetsus who were trained by Madara to repeatedly support Chakra with tailed beast Jinchu Yuriki suffered very badly, but their recovery ability was very strong, and each time they had to attack several times to kill. Fortunately, there are enough alliance forces. This is the power of the human sea tactics. Any enemy facing the people's vast ocean is a paper tiger. At this time, the Alliance forces are like a broken bamboo, all the way to the hinterland of the Land of Wind and the outskirts of the hidden Sand Village. The ninjas of Sand Village quickly surrendered. After all, even a child knows that they are not the opponent of the Alliance forces, but because of their Keizkij order to confront the Alliance forces, they immediately changed their camps after learning the truth from Kyo. It's almost fights with a certain country. Akaban feels distressed about the third Keizkij. The third Keizkij's sense of existence is just that, and his words do not seem to be authoritative. Now it is even worse. The news of the control is exposed. Even if he is rescued, it may be difficult to continue as a Keizkij. Besides, is it possible to save him? With Madara's control, I am afraid that even Uzumaki Maito would have difficulty cracking it, otherwise, the entire Uchiha will not only be controlled by Madara, and even Konoha will not have the necessary obligation to help. The strongest Keizkij is not yet the strongest, but its talent is indeed the strongest in the history of a hidden sand village. It is not good news for Konoha to have a strong Keizkij. Especially Konoha will divide up half of Sand Village's mission quota after the war. The stronger the hidden Sand Village is, the less reconciled it will be. Akaban's clone searches everywhere for Madara's whereabouts, 
taking care of the enemy along the way. Until half a day passed, one of his wooden clones encountered Madara. Akaban's strongest ability is Genjutsu. Although Madara clones can use most Genjutsu, their power is far from the main body. In this way, Madara basically solved the wooden clone in a few strokes. It's no surprise that he can easily kill his clone. Akaban hits Madara's wooden clone into Zortuz. Although the wooden clone is said to be almost the same as the main body, it is actually not much different. It is absolutely impossible to use simple data difference judgments. Madara returned to the land of wind from the land of frost and killed Akaban clone as soon as he saw the clones. At the same time, he ordered his clones to control the tailed beast to start sealing. Although Madara doubted the authenticity of the infinite Zukuyomi, he did not plan to leave the Jinshriki back to other ninja village safely. Especially the little Keizkijin hidden sand village. Regardless of whether Madara is at odds with Konoha, he is certain that he will not make the hidden sand village better. If it weren't for Uzumaki Maito, he would even let the Jinshriki Keizkij conduct a suicide attack so that it could strike against the Alliance forces and seal the Jinshuriki's exhaustion into the demonic statue of the Outer Path without injury. It's perfect. However, when Uzumaki Maito is here, the ability of the Uzumaki clan is really too domineering, and no matter how many people Jinchu Yuriki berserk, they will only give her food. Madara didn't have the idea of becoming a delivery courier, so he chose a seal to absorb it, and he looked for Kyorama Akaban to talk to. His perception is not as strong as Akaban and Uzumaki Maito, but there is a wisp of fruit, and he can know what is happening here and who is where from other creatures like birds, beasts and fish. Therefore, he quickly determined the direction and went to the most intense place on the battlefield. Madara has no intention of killing but a single blow can kill many ninjas. Too strong. Along the way, the ninjas were desperate, and they didn't dare to be hard on Madara. Before Madara reached them, they would be like birds and beasts seeing the king of the forest. Madara doesn't chase them, his goal is Kyorama Akaban, not these little guys. No matter how many ants he kills, he can't show his strength and he can't get the joy of defeating his opponent. Kyorama Akaban can use the wooden clone, which is enough to prove that his strength can suppress Hashirama cells. He is definitely the strongest opponent in the world. Only such a person can draw that kind of plot and be worthy of Maya Madara's opponent. He rushed all the way, quickly approaching Akaban's side. But at the same time, Akaban also found the traces of Madara, knowing he was looking for himself. Then, he immediately asked people to call Dewey over. Mike Dewey was very delighted. When he arrived at the battlefield, his Tijutsu was finally manifested. Under Orochimaru's training, his mind was not changed much, but his strength was high. The incarnation bison form and the third opening gate rampage is unmatched. Of course. This is for ordinary people, if he is faced with elite Jounin, he can't be so strong, let alone Madara's level. At least opening seven gates are necessary to deal with Madara, otherwise, there will be no threat at all. With Might Dewey's help, he felt calm. Madara's limbo. Border Jail is very strong, and the group battle is not dominant in two-on-one. Akaban called Uzumaki Maito again. Uzumaki Maito's sealing technique is very useful for Madara's limbo, Border Jail. Basically, a set of seals is one, even if it is only temporarily effective, it is strong enough, at least to make Madara throw a rat trap to some extent. What's more, Uzumaki Maito's use is more than just sealing jutsu. The ability of bat fruit can weaken Madara while getting blood. 
but they were a long way away from him, so Akaban rushed over to find Madara to see what he was doing. The two are getting closer and closer, finally. On a deserted and weathered mountain, Achaiha Madara stood proudly on the top of the mountain, staring at the bottom of the mountain indifferently from the top. When Akaban arrived, he had posed for a long time and adjusted himself to the best angle. Kyorama Akaban, I have been waiting for you for too long, this world. Isn't it tiring to pose for so long? Weathered buildings are not safe. If you don't stand under a dangerous wall, gentlemen should come down and talk. After Akaban finished speaking, his hands quickly made a seal. In the blink of an eye, a quagmire appeared under the hill, swallowing the patch and the mountain bag together. Earth-style, dark swamp. Madara jumped halfway, and Akaban ended the ninjutsu effect in time. He is most uncomfortable with someone pretending to be coercive in front of him, especially when Madara walks halfway to stop. Who do you show pos to? Madara leapt lightly and landed with his arms around his chest. Even an old man exuded a chic and arrogant temperament. It's really an ancestral pretense. Forget it, lost, lost. Akaban sighed, glanced at Madoka, and then said, It looks like Black Zetsu has finally broken with you. Black Zetsu is nothing but a clown, a piece of rubbish. It's not enough to help me accomplish great things. It's better to leave. But the problem is you. Madara calmly said, as if him, madly chasing Black Zetsu and attacking the Land of Frost was not his business. What about me? Akaban couldn't figure out Madara's thoughts, but now that he was not going to attack, he can just wait for his teammates to arrive. You are the genius of Konoha who came out in hundreds of years. Back then, Hashirama and I were not as good as you. You should know what I want to do, right? Madara sat down, her eyes gleaming, staring at Akaban motionlessly. He is old, but his vigor is unabated. Such a person is worthy of being called the strongest in the ninja world along with Senju Hashirama. Akaban nodded and said, Infinite Zukuyomi, let everyone in the world fall into Infinite Zukuyomi, use this to manipulate ninja thinking to achieve peace in the world. Yes, before. I did think so. Madara was silent for a moment, then nodded. This was what he thought before, but now his thoughts have changed slightly. In the past, Madara's goal was to complete infinite Zukuyomi, so that the world can enter the era of peace it needs. However, Black Zetsu betrayed. White Zetsu seems to be his creation, but in fact, they obeyed Black Zetsu's orders. Everything shows that Ten Tails is likely to be a powerful individual with his own consciousness. If he becomes Ten Tails Jinshriki, is it as perfect and safe as expected? Madara realized that his previous plan was too idealistic. He wanted to know how Akaban thought of his plan, so. Hashirama always hoped that I could serve as the protector of Konoha. Responsibility, I hope Konoha can get along with the rest of Ninja Village in peace, but I know that both of them are impossible to achieve. Madara's tone was soothing. At this moment, he looked like an old man, rather than Achaiha Madara, who was dominating the ninja world, and all these belonged to his memoirs. Akaban listened quietly, and when he heard this, he nodded gently. Konoha's villagers would not approve of Achaiha unless Achaiha can undergo a fundamental change to converge their sharp edge and not be as arrogant as Madara then Achaiha has slight hope. Madara is less likely to become shadows. He is too arrogant, not as sunny as Hashirama, but more like an emperor who leads the loneliness. Comparing the two, naturally, Senju Hashirama is more popular. 
the same person is Akaban's teacher Danza. It cannot be said that Danza does not have the ability to be a shadow, but everyone will not like such a radical and powerful leader unless the war really comes. Obviously, you care about Hokage's position very much, but you keep saying that you don't care. Akaban couldn't help but complain in person. Oh, it seems that you don't understand. Also, how can people who grew up in peaceful times understand our thoughts at the time? That era was full of wars and fights everywhere. Both Hashirama and I saved the idea of troubled times, but after the establishment of the village, Hashirama stands still and is satisfied with a corner of land now. Madara's pretense of force could not be restrained again, and his words were filled with the loneliness of everyone in the world. He felt that no one understood him. The existence of Ninja Village is equivalent to an enhanced version of the family. When Konoha's family is the only one, the younger brothers certainly don't dare to make mistakes, but once Konoha becomes weak, the rest of Ninja Village will besiege them like sharks smelling blood. Only through reunification can there be peace. This is the idea of Madara in the early stage. So he exercises dominance and wants all ninja villages to submit, but the Senju brother's idea runs counter to him. In fact, this is the biggest difference between you and Lord First Hokage. But I also think it should be unification. When Akaban heard this, he nodded in agreement. Perhaps it has something to do with the situation in his previous life. He does not agree with Senju Hashirama and Naruto's so-called Ninja Village Republic. This situation is too rare and only exists when the gap between a certain Ninja Village and other Ninja Villages is too large. When another village becomes stronger, they will try to challenge and change the rules. There can only be one boss, and then there will be another masterful war, and peace will end with it. Senju Hashirama's idea is too simple, I guess even Senju Tobirama does not agree with his strategy. Uchiha Madara was very happy when he heard that as he sat upright, a slight difference appeared on his face, you understand. Yes, only after the unification allows everyone to agree with Konoha's philosophy, can there be real peace and infinite Zukuyomi is actually my tool for unifying everyone's ideas. Your idea is very interesting, but it's a pity that it is wrong at the root. Infinite Zukuyomi can't bring peace at all. It brings more wars and greater chaos. Akaban shook his head. Infinite Zukuyomi is a big pit, but Madara believed in it in his previous life, and then was pitted. Sure enough, you know the secret of Black Zetsu, I guess. Infinite Zukuyomi was designed by Black Zetsu, right? Madara became expressionless. As soon as the words came out of Akaban's mouth, he verified his own thoughts. Akaban knew a lot. For example, he knew everything about Infinite Zukuyomi. Although he doesn't know how much he knows, it is definitely much more than him. But at this time he sensed two figures quickly approaching, one is Uzumaki Maito, the other. Who is the other one? Madara was a little confused, that aura was strange and had never been touched. Kyorama Akaban and Uzumaki Maito have different personalities, but they are not people who joked about the lives of their subordinates, otherwise, they would not have saved Gekko Yuu from a thousand miles. He doesn't know the strength of the third person who came here, but he certainly won't drag the two down. But Madara is not afraid, their addition has weakened Kyorama Akaban. From Madara's point of view, Akaban is the strongest in Flying Thunder God, without Flying Thunder God Jutsu, no matter how strong his Genjutsu is, against him, it is useless. Under his Rinnegan, everything is meaningless. If they don't master power of six paths, they can't beat him. And so, even if he knew that the other party had a plan, 
Madara was still very calm, and he was still as stable as an old dog without any intention to escape. Akaban also knew that they were coming soon, so at this moment he smiled and said, I understand, you want to know the secret of Black Zetsu from my mouth, what is Black Zetsu, and why you care about the word mother so much? Yes. Madara nodded. He really wanted to know this. For him, he must know everything about Black Zetsu, so that he can be sealed and killed by the right medicine. Akaban's smile was even brighter than before. He narrowed his eyes and said, I know all of these, do you want to know everything? Go and see, they are all in the comics. Madara looked dumbfounded, he knew it was from the Naruto comic. But... If your comics are updated with these, do I still need to ask you? Madara was about to speak, and suddenly felt a strong sense of crisis, as if a huge crisis would come in the next second. So he did not hesitate. Shinra Tensia. The huge repulsive force bounced all attacks away. The air bombs were bounced off, and all surrounding attacks were bounced away in an instant. Madara turned around instantly and saw a blue figure drawn out like a fire-like electricity, and quickly rushed to the front from a distance. Boom! Stronger impact. Madara did not dare to be careless, and quickly opened his Rinnegan, ready to use Suzanu and Limbo clones to escape, but he suddenly noticed a trace of chakra lag during the cast. Genjutsu. When? Madara was slightly shocked, he didn't feel the Genjutsu intrusion at all, so he was conscripted unconsciously. This kid has improved his Genjutsu skills again. He quickly cracked it. It took half a second for Madara to crack the Genjutsu, and then he saw a figure attacking from his side, and more than that, he also found a person on the other side. To be precise. They are exactly the same bull-headed man. Bull-headed man, isn't it true? Madara reacted instantly, but the left and right sides were very real, and there was no difference in attack, aura and perception. Clone. He was a little bit unsure, so he simply borrowed a limbo clone to flash people. In the next second, the figure on the left disappeared. With a poke in the air. Dewey turned into a bull running at high speed and waving its paws. Boom! Madara couldn't avoid it, and the Suzanu on his body was instantly shattered, and his blood splashed. At this time, Flying Thunder God Jutsu, teleport. The instant Akaban appeared, he quickly collected the blood into the ceiling scroll. Unexpectedly, there are people Konoha who really master the eight inner gates, very good, you are the most powerful physical skill among the people I have seen, Iachiha Madara would like to call you the strongest. Madara's injury was not serious. There was no anger at this time. Instead, he smiled very happily. Finally, someone was able to injure him with fists and tijutsu skills like Hashirama. What? Mike Dewey didn't understand what Madara meant, his face was very confused. Even if he didn't understand, he didn't forget what he should do. In the next second, Dewey turned around and drove off. His problem with one of the tendons has not changed, but this time it was very vigorous and awkward because Orochimaru taught him to open the seventh gate directly when encountering a strong enemy without saying anything before finishing the game. If the other party can catch it, then run, avoid, and wait for your physical strength to recover. Madara is a little confused. What kind of routine does this man have, running away after hitting a combination of punches? Akaban also laughed happily. These blood are treasures, which are close to weakening the lifespan and far from impure world reincarnation. But this is not enough. At most, this little blood will kill a small part of his lifespan, which is far from enough. 
It seems that we are not all the same. Madara sighed softly. If you choose to do it, which means that you cannot agree with your own ideas. In that case. A trace of killing intent flashed in his eyes, since you are very slippery with flying thunder god Jutsu, then kill your comrades first. Madara instantly walked towards Might Dewey. Dewey's physical skills are very strong, and few people can block his attacks, otherwise, Madara would not be injured. But correspondingly, he is the best one of the three to target first. Like Akaban, he has the Flying Thunder God Jutsu, Uzumaki Maito has the Tail Beast Mode and various sealing techniques, her strength is extremely powerful. What about Dewey? He only has the Eight Inner Gates. Only in this way can the Eight Inner Gates be trained to such a realm. Madara's fighting consciousness is very strong, but he obviously underestimated Dewey's bison form and the speed under the Seven Gates. After attacking Madara, Dewey is not exhausted. On the contrary, he still has half of his physical strength. The role of these physical strengths is to run away and dodge so that Dewey can recover time. The powerful physique of the Bull Devil Fruit will quickly restore his physical strength. As long as he recovers back after a while, he will fight back again. However, Madara did not use the main body to chase after but to use a Limbo clone to chase and kill Dewey. On the other hand, he sent two or three to stop Uzumaki Maito. This time is different from last time. Madara is more adaptable to his eyes, and his strength development and use are naturally higher. Even if Uzumaki Maito wants to seal his clones, it's not going to be easy. That's it for this part guys hope you like the video. Like share and subscribe the channel. And also tell me in the comment section down below if you have any recommendation. Thanks for watching.